Guys, Eric here, just doing a quick video update in regards to the shooting at Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas, Joel Osteen's church. Uh, the shooter has been identified as Janice Yvonne Marino, uh, was named as the bang bang shoot em up uh, person. <laughs> It's funny how they censor you for saying certain things and certain words. I don't care. I'm not monetized anyways. Shooter. It was the shooter. Okay? So, you see some of the top stories here. Uh, shooter at Joel Osteen's Texas Mega Church may have transitioned. Hmm. Transitioned. What does that mean? Well, we'll find out. And... It also says, Free Palestine written on rifle. Interesting. Huh. Very, very interesting. So the reports keep referring to uh, Janice as a woman. Woman suspected. Uh, this report says, Trans pro-Palestinian gunwoman. And then, in parentheses, man. So, some reports are saying that it was a man pretending to be a woman. But I've heard others say it was a woman pretending to be a man. But it gets even better because not only is this person considered transgender, they're also possibly considered transracial. Let me, th let me pull up some pics for you. Okay, so this is a mug shot of, this is a mug shot right here of, it says Jeffrey Escalante Moreno. Now, check this out. It says sex is female and it says race, white, non-Hispanic. And place of birth, El Salvador. Now, does this person look like a quote-unquote white, non-Hispanic person? Very, very interesting. And we're going to get a little more into that. And then you see the different names. Jeffrey G. Escalante. Jeffrey Genese Escalante. Jeffrey Moreno G. Escalante. And, and so on and so forth. Um, Janice... Ivan Moreno. So we you get the point, right? It's interesting though, it doesn't have the date of birth on here. Though they th I think they said uh it was uh thirty six. Let's do some more photos. There's a the mug a mug shot again. I believe this mug shot was from twenty twenty two. And then there's the thing, you know, dialed up a little bit. It's disgusting. Completely disgusting. All right, so here's some more. Here's some more uh, mug shots of it. So this thing must have been trans for a while, because it says these photos were posted in 2010. But these dates could be wrong, possibly as well. But I'm not sure. This photo says 2005, 2009, 2010, 2010. So it's. It's hard to tell. <laughs> so this is some some of Jeffrey's uh, crimes committed. Really, a little criminal history of Jeffrey. Two thousand five failure to stop. Two thousand nine assault bodily injury. Two thousand ten forgery. 2010 theft, 2010 possession of marijuana, and 2010 evading arrest, etc. Now, this is an interesting photo. Colorado Springs shooter, mass shooter, identified as non binary, aka trans. Mass shooter in Denver, identified as trans mass shooter in Aberdeen identified as trans 
mass shooter in Nashville identified as trans. And now this shooter at Lakewood identified as trans. And not only transgender, maybe transracial, but wait a minute. What is what what's what's the deal with these Texas public sex offenders showing a race of white non Hispanic? Well Remedios Gonzalez Mendez or Mendez Gonzalez, uh, he doesn't look uh, Caucasian, he looks Hispanic. And Jose Fernando Dominguez Garcia looks, uh, he doesn't look white, non Hispanic. And uh, Juan Jesus Romero Perez, he doesn't look white, non Hispanic. And Jose Francisco Rodriguez Guillen, he doesn't look white, non Hispanic. Why are all these Hispanic men listed as white? Just like this guy is. The shooter is listed as a female, white, non Hispanic. Place of birth, El Salvador. Well, I don't know how many uh, white, non-Hispanic people are being birthed in El Salvador, but this person does not look like a Caucasian person at all. Nor does their name reflect that of a Caucasian person. Well, let's keep going. These are some pictures that... These are some pictures from... Jeffrey Moreno, Escalante, etc. from his Instagram before they took it down. How does one clean an AR-15? Obviously, this is before he wrote Free Palestine on it. And Jeffrey was a contributor to Lakewood. Look at that. Now, some of you might not be able to see this, so I'm going to zoom in on it. page was called Building Wealth Incorporated Lakewood Short Church Order Confirmation Hi Genesi Genus or how you say it Thank you for your recent gift to Lakewood Church Your support is helping bring the message of hope in Jesus Christ to those in need around the world If you have any questions about your order please contact customer service They say one may say my church is this and is it's that I sit back and face palm, for they like to clown on the people of God. Do they know what they are doing? Persecute, I say indeed, and proceed. Your reward is waiting. As for me and my household, I will honor and bless my church. Now this is from his Instagram. Like He literally posted that he donated to this church. Then here he is again. I have not cut my hair in months because I want my long hair back. This was a me about a week or so ago. My hair has only grown about five inches. It's taken too long. Now I'm ready to cut it. See clearly clearly that's that's him or Again, I don't even know if I should call it a him or what I'm supposed to call this thing. And see, here's the thing too. Mom life, mother and son. So here's the other thing too. So this person going to Joel Osteen's church Donating to his church could easily just fit in, and I didn't find I, I when I heard the news report about this, and when I heard that the shooter went right before the Hispanic services and did this, that was like the first thing that came to my mind. The person's probably Hispanic. It first thing that didn't come to my mind was oh it's probably trans. First thing that came to my mind is probably Hispanic because it seemed like it was almost intentional targeting. 
the Hispanic uh, services. Oh, look at this. This person supports Bernie Sanders. I vote swing in political parties and he wants to finish FDR's New Deal. I want him in the office as a U.S. president. So this thing thought Bernie Sanders would make a good president. And then here is the little boy. This is the boy. Um, may the Lord heal him and give get him to parents who will take care of him properly. This is the little boy who was shot. So that's uh, that's about it on the photos that I have. But let me just say this to finish up this video. It doesn't need to be a long video. This person's clearly out of their mind. This person <laughs> is being listed as a white non-Hispanic on prior uh, arrest. I guess they're transracial as well. Because nowadays you can identify as anything. And the stinking police departments and those that are, uh, you know, inputting this information are just going with the ridiculousness of all this. And most news sites aren't even mentioning the fact this person was trans. They're not. They're not mentioning that. And that's a very important factor. Why are they not mentioning that? These things should be mentioned. They should be talked about. And also, going back to the whole thing with going to Joel Osteen's church. What kind of message is Joel Osteen preaching where a transgender person feels completely comfortable sitting in that service? No conviction at all for their sin. And this goes back to what I was saying yesterday in yesterday's video. Judgment must begin at the house of the Lord first. This is judgment on churches like this, not preaching the truth of God's word. But all about building wealth, right? That's what it's all about, oh, building wealth. We're not promised riches in this life. And this thing had the nerve to talk about persecution, but yet then goes inside the very church. They're claiming as being persecuted and then persecutes. So again, this is why this is why ministries like that are not of God because something like this can just be easily in the midst and no one is vetting. No one is trying the spirits to see whether they are of God or not. And you let something like this in your congregation. Anybody can just sit in there. And this is why churches, fellowships, are supposed to be the gathering of saints. Not a not as some say, oh, this is supposed to be a hospital for the sinners or hospital for the sick. That's not what church is. Church is a gathering of the saints. Yes, well, you can minister to lost people and be there for lost people, of course. But when you let sin in the camp, this is the result. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. And they had a big chunk of leaven inside there, not including the fact, again, that their false teacher in the pulpit teaches New Age doctrine, New Age principles. And is birthing so many more doing the same thing like John Gray and Tony Evans' daughter, etc., etc. Letting just anybody preach from the pulpit there. So this is judgment to, to, to the house of so-called house of God. And don't even get in with we won't even go into the whole free Palestine thing. I'm surprised they didn't target what's his face? Uh John Hagee's church. But anyway, guys, we get the point. You see it. So, anyways, guys, God bless. And, um, yeah, may the Lord bless you all. And just remember, this is why, let me finish with this. This is why preaching the gospel, the true, unadulterated gospel is so important. It lacks at Joel Osteen's place. It is lacking hardcore. And it's about time people realize that anybody who wants to change themselves from one gender to another is not there. They are not there. They are clearly devil possessed.
they, them. Isn't that how the devils refer to themselves in scriptures? They refer to themselves as a multiple person. It says, we are legion for we are many. Just think about that. All right, guys. God bless.